Hi fam, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you how I make Nigerian bread and cheese paste. So let's get into this video. I'm going to start off with my butter and I'm going to melt it. Here is it all nicely melted. Once that is done, I'm going to set it aside and allow it to cool and move on to the dry ingredients. To my bowl, I'm going to start off with my flour yeast salt and because this bread is on the sweeter side I'm adding in salt today sugar once all of these have been added I am going to mix it until well combined next I'm going to make a hole in the middle or a well and going with my wet ingredients some warm milk eggs and the melted butter. Once the wet ingredients have been added, give that a really good mix. And you will realize that it's a very sticky dough. So what we would do next is to add some flour to a countertop and place our dough and work on it. This is a very sticky dough, so when you're adding in the remainder of your flour, you want to be cautious in the sense that you don't want to add too much at the same time to, uh, to avoid um, the bread getting heavy. All right, so just want to mention that. So once it's added, I am going to add some flour to my hands and start working on the bread, as you can see here. And as I said, remember to add the remainder of your flour in sections. And this was so fun to do because usually I don't like sticky dough to work with sticky dough, but it's actually therapeutic in a sense. <laughs> so you want to knead your dough until it's nice and smooth for about eight minutes thereabout. As you can see here, once I am done, I will come back to show you. So here it is all nicely done. I did, as I said, spent about eight minutes or so making sure that it's nice and smooth and not too heavy or too sticky. And I'm going to put that in a lightly greased bowl and allow it to rise. Now you would notice that it takes longer to rise than your usual bread and that is because it has more sugar. All right, so next we're moving on to the paste. Here I have some mustard, some cheese. I have here garlic, mayonnaise, onion, and some butter. And you want to remember that all your ingredients should be at room temperature is so much easier to work with starting off i am going to grate my onion and garlic so here it is nicely grated i will set that aside until i'm ready for it and move on to the cheese so this is a grater i'm using today i am going to grate my cheese and come back to show you so here it is nicely grated and i'm just going to go going with the ingredients i mentioned earlier also, I am adding in a little bit of cayenne pepper just for a kick. You don't have to if you don't want to, but yeah, a nice little kick wouldn't hurt anyone. <laughs> so once you've added in all the ingredients for the paste, we are going to mix until it's nicely combined. And guys, as I said, you want to have your ingredients at room temperature. That's that way, sorry, it's much easier to work with and you get a smoother texture, a smoother paste as you see here. So now that it's done, it's all nice and creamy and smooth. And of course it will spread nicer on your bread. I'm going to set that aside and check on my dough. It has doubled in size and I'm just using my fingertips to press it down to remove the gas and the air bubbles. I'm going to form it into a bread and come back. So here it is, all nicely done. I'm going to allow it to double in size again for the second time. And here it is. I love to add a little bit of melted butter on the top of my bread. That adds a nice little shine as well as it helps with the browning process, giving it a nice golden brown color. 
you can also use olive oil which I do use at times as well once that is done as you can see here I am going to add my bread to a preheated oven of 350 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes and you want to check your oven depending on um, what kind you have in terms of the heat so once it's baked I remove it from my oven and while it's still hot, I like to add some more butter, which basically keeps the top of the bread, even the bread itself, really nice and moist. I'm going to allow that to cool and come back to show you. Here it is, all cool. And I just want to show you before I cut into that bread. Look at that lovely color, guys. Now it's time for cutting. Okay, so I was struggling a little bit. I don't know why, but I was just anxious to cut the bread, I guess. So the wrap was just moving all over. <laughs> But here is what the bread looks like guys it's nice it's fluffy and I'm betting you it's much better than those you buy in the shop tell him I said so okay <laughs> so I did went ahead and cut them into nice slices and now what I'm going to do I'm going to apply some of that lovely cheese paste I made so here I am applying the cheese paste and you can apply as much as you want onto your bread and also you guys you can add in some um, coloring food coloring to your cheese space to make it fun especially if you do have kids all right so I do hope that you did enjoy today's video I also did cut the bread into sections so you can see it and I am looking forward to your comments let me know if you did make Nigerian bread before and what was your experience see you in my next video bye bye